Carcat, be past Carcat. You cannot be past Carcat because in the past, past Carcat is asleep. Past Carcat, wake up. Okay, everything's fine. I guess. What happened? I passed out for an hour. A fucking embarrassing. You're out of your goddamn mind, you know. <laughs> Shit hive maggots, you mean? Yeah, in a good way, though. Okay, I'm shutting this memo down for my past self, since he's currently lying unconscious on the floor an hour ago. See you in the future now. Till then. Oh, oh. Wow! Check out who finally woke up! We've been trying to wake you for an hour, but you were unresponsive to even the most senseless of cane drubbings. <laughs> My head hurts. Probably due to the aforementioned nub drubbings. Will you shut up about the drubbings? Put that cane away! Damn it, it's not like you even need it! I had a horrible dream, okay? Oh? I finally woke up on Prospect. You did? Oh god, I can't believe I missed it! Yeah, well, sorry we can't go on our enchanted golden magic carpet ride or whatever you had in store for us, but now it's too late. Dream Me is dead. I know. All of us are. Prospect was completely destroyed. Oh shit! Really? Guess that's not too surprising. Anyway, I saw the demon again. I think I know who it is. Who is it? I don't know how it's possible. I need to search for more answers before I know for sure. Stop being mysterious and tell me. No way. I'm not jumping to hasty conclusions. If it turns out I'm right, then I guess we both get to say I told you so. Ugh, fine. So you saw him just before he destroyed Prospect? Yeah, and that wasn't even the bad part of the dream. That was an hour ago. What have you been dreaming about since? I don't want to talk about it. The bottom line is, everyone here is forbidden from going to sleep. Forbidden? Yes. As your leader, I am ordering all Prospect Dreamers to stay awake, no matter how tired you get. Um, alright. Do you ever even get tired? What's that supposed to mean? All you do is run your mouth all day, and sniff and lick people inappropriately with that shit-eating grin. I don't think I've ever even seen you yawn. I'm pretty tired right now, as a matter of fact. Tired of your bullshit. God, I'm tired. So guess what? We've been in contact with some aliens from the universe we created. Okay, so? Don't you think that's kind of neat? No, it's boring. Who cares? I thought as our intrepid leader that was something you might want to know. Alright, as leader, I recommend we deliver them a delightful gift basket via trans-universal bolts thrust. Are you taking this down? I'm not saying we need to make friends with them or anything, but we've begun to suspect that they have something to do with our session, paradoxically speaking. Is anything ever not paradoxically speaking? Maybe we can figure a way to get ourselves out of this jam? Nope, I already told you, we're doomed. A meaningless race of aliens won't change that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a lot of important shit to do. You mean a lot of important wandering around aimlessly and talking to people? Yes, exactly. What a fucking vulgar display this is. Airing out all his dirty laundry like that. Putting a big fucking pile of horns in the middle of the room. At least I got the upright basic decency to hide my shitty wand pile somewhere in the lab. You won't find it. Don't even bother looking. Why do you assholes have piles of things? Just stop! Examine pile of shitty horns. Look at this shit all over the floor. Barely been here a couple hours and this dude turns the lab into his own personal clown sty. Hey, can I help a tired looking brother get his motherfucking nap on? Sleep in the horn pile? Only 420 boondollars. I just.
just slept on the floor for an hour. Does it look like I need a nap? Besides, I just banned everyone from sleeping. So don't go pulling this horn pile innkeeper shit. Got it? Also, stop dancing. It's awful. <laughs> okay. Well, if you get your mind all changed about that, then you know where to find the pile, best friend. Oh yeah, also, clean your fucking garbage off the floor. If this shit isn't gone in a few hours, I'm seriously going to flip out. Honk, 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 honk. Hey, I just got done talking with you in the past. Remember when you were fucking around with the volcano and I passed out for an hour? Vaguely. That was now. Hey, guess what? New orders. No more impromptu amputations, okay? Impromputations. Yeah. Keep your lipstick capped, okay? I don't want to turn around and see rainbow blood spraying every which way just because you think the place is a little drab. I did my best to clean up the blood before you woke up. Thanks for that. Also, another new order. Don't go to sleep. Don't worry, I don't really want to find out what happens if I do. Any other orders? Such as those which might pertain to these alien children? Yeah, my orders are that they're completely irrelevant, and who cares about them? How are those orders? Because I'm your leader, that's how. They are not irrelevant. How do you know that? It's a bit complicated, but I believe you should give them a closer look before you decide what to do about them, if anything. Perhaps then, an especially leaderly speech will be in order. Okay. I doubt that, but whatever. Hey, Briska, what are you doing? Please, for the love of God, let it be something inconsequential and benign. Car Cat, man, you were out for a long time. I have made so many plans for these humans while you were asleep. Do you know how many plans have been made? Probably all of them. Even though plans aren't really an exhaustively quantifiable thing, and we both fucking know that. Yes, all of them. So many irons, too. Guess where the irons are? Please don't let them be in the fire. Please don't let them be in the fire. They are. In. The. Fire. God. Fucking. Damn it. Look, whatever you're doing, stop. Or put it on pause. Can you please do that? I wasn't going to bother with the humans, but now you're making me nervous. Just give me a chance to look into this matter, and then I'll brief everybody. Maybe with a speech or something? Can you do that? Please? I just said that with eight E's. Fine, I will take a break, Carcat. But only because you were so polite about it. It'll give me a chance to go get some stuff done. Examine host blush. Looks like someone needs to stop playing games for girls. This robo-like bullshit was your idea, wasn't it? I only supplied the technological means, though my lobbying for a hooven quadrupedal lower torso went tragically disregarded. Okay, I hereby order you to never even think about giving someone horse legs again. Is that understood? Yes. I can follow that order, sir. Are there any other orders you would like to issue to me in a manner that is similarly forceful? I also order you to stop getting off of my orders for like the 500th fucking time! Yes, and you will continue to order me to do so. I command it. Uh, I need a towel. Go have your butler get you one, you snooty douche! Our Thor is dead, and so is his ghost. Remember? Yeah. Sorry, man, I forgot. Didn't mean to bring up a sore subject. Is this where we embrace jocularly, as if we are bros? I will be as gentle as possible. Don't touch me. Hey, you're awake. Hey! You know what would have been an awesome time to take the opportunity to saw your lower torso off 
and replace it with robo legs? Uh, no. Any goddamn time before now! You know, during our whole adventure when they might have come in handy? Also, when I didn't happen to be standing around! That would have been so sweet! Oh, sorry. I mean, I was kind of asleep too, so I didn't have a lot of say in the matter. Did you see him? Who? The demon! When you were asleep! No. He was right fucking there! I told you to look, but I guess you were too busy frolicking in the sky or whatever you do on that gaudy yellow moon. Oh man, yeah. Sky frolicking was probably definitely the thing I was preoccupied by. Anyway, that was just before he blew the place up. Oh, is that what happened? Idiot. Just don't go to sleep. Spread the word. Oh, I couldn't possibly sleep now. I'm too excited about these awesome legs. Look at me go! Whoops! Examine Unireal Air. It's almost impossible to cross the room without tripping over this goddamn thing. The mess in here is Unireal. I, I mean Unreal. Oh god, this is so great! They look like they're so much fun! Who? The humans! What's a human? The alien kids! Come on, Carcat, you need to stop taking all these silly naps and get up to speed! Wait, what have you been doing? You haven't been pulling your RP nonsense on them, have you? Talk about a shitty first encounter! Okay, as leader, I forbid you from RPing with them! But... Equius already forbid me from doing that. Not that I'm listening to him, but... Shh. <laughs> Wait, he did? Okay, then as your leader, I order you to RP with them as much as possible! Be as obnoxious about it as you can! Yay! Finally! So, Carcat, what was your dream like after you died? I have been clubbing like crazy over here wondering about it. <laughs> I'm not talking about it. Just don't go to sleep. Oh wait, you're a Durst dreamer, right? Never mind. Knock yourself out. Literally. You look so nervous and pale. Were you scared of what you saw? What about not talking about it? Don't you get? There's no reason to be scared. They are not as terrible as they look. When Durst is destroyed, I am going to go to sleep and prove it. I will prove it to you and to them as well. Them? Our new friends. You'll see. Everything is going to be okay. This is pretty exciting, don't you think? Meh. Club to that attitude. You cannot be Future for Fairy because in the future, Future for Fairy is asleep. Have you decided to troll them yet? Troll who? Never mind. Let's pretend I didn't say that, and let's also pretend it isn't inevitable. What the frog buckling nook stench are you talking about? Nothing. It's not like a decision you're about to make will invariably lead to every problem we have and will ever face, as well as the great undoing itself. Just keep listening to your angry impulses, it will all be fine. Actually, I guess I could kill you right now and stop it all from happening, thus dooming us all in an offshoot timeline. I might consider it if we all weren't doomed anyway, and if you weren't my friend. You know what was great? When you used to not be a robot. Cause this robot thing, this is bullshit. If we weren't all about to die, I'd dedicate our whole team to finding a way to bring you back to life. But we are, so I guess we'll have to write out the next few hours with a spooky tin can psychopath. Sounds like a blast! You cannot be Future Aradia because in the future, Future Aradia has exploded. Hey, KK, most of these computers are shit. So unless you've got a real good reason, I don't think I'm gonna bother fixing them. I'm fine! Thanks for asking, man! Your concern is really appreciated! I appreciate it! Fuck you and your prima donna garbage! I'm not gonna break down Sabin because you pass out at the sight of a little blood! Why don't you man up? Hey, fuck you! I turn around and see a crazy girl with a chainsaw and a tsunami of brown! 
Is it too much to ask that we not turn our little hideout into a slaughterhouse? What did you want me to do? Get down on the floor and kiss your fainted corpse on the lisp to wake you up on a non-existent prospect? Let's not do this, okay, man? Just this once. I don't have the energy. Yeah, okay. Fine. So what's the deal with these aliens? Is this anything I should give a shit about? No, not at all. They're useless and uninteresting, like I'm sure you already gathered. I recommend we don't bother with them, though Aradia seems to think we'll all be in each other's sponges inevitably. <sighs> Whatever. I'm pretty committed to not having anything to do with them, ever. Good! That's what I like to hear! Uh-huh. Sure, KK. By the look of some of your future memos, it looks like you're gonna get pretty wound up by this thing soon. Man, fuck my future memos! <laughs> no way! They're hilarious! Best thing about having you as a leader, hands down. Fuck that sentiment, and fuck you, and fuck future me! Okay, what about past you? Is past you cool? The only guy more irritating and stupid than future me is past me! <laughs> Transportalize. <laughs> Open chest. You got some boon dollars. Who cares? Open chest. You got the trusty claw sickle. Transportalize. <laughs> you got a whole boom buck. Yawn. You got a till death manual. It's so thick you could kill someone with this thing. And if you master what's inside, you might just kill everyone with it. You got a Tinkerbowl plush. R.I.P. little buddy. You got a whole mess of boom box. You guess you could use them as paperweights or something. You got a teapot. You got a wicked elixir. You chug the beverage immediately. Your vitals remain unchanged. You got a beautiful work of fine art. Just... why? Why would this exist? Why would someone put it in a chest? You got home smell you later. So fresh. There's a switch on the wall. Flip it. Examine. Man, why's everybody gotta dump their shit in your secret room? How are they even getting in here? This is so outrageous. Examine. <laughs> Transportalize. <laughs> You got a box of fruit troll-ups. Troll crocker's vile tendrils are everywhere. Examine equipment. You don't even want to think about that day. Slime and wigglers everywhere. You got a... Oh, dear God. Get that filth out of here! So many horrible memories for past Carcat. Be past Carcat? Yes. You are now past Carcat. You are pretty much freaking the fuck out. <laughs>